Welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen Randazzo and I am a chemistry teacher in New Jersey. I am so happy you found me and really the whole purpose of my channel is to share some best teaching practices and things that work for my student population and hopefully you'll find something that appeals to you that you can bring back to your students. In this week's video you're probably reading the title and thinking Karen you're jumping on that AI bandwagon like everyone else and yes and no. I think as teachers we need to be very careful about how we use AI. We need to be very careful about about the ways in which we discuss AI with students. But I think it's important that we recognize that AI is not going away. And so one of the things that we want to do is use it in such a way that can actually help us. And we don't want to be afraid of it. We need to embrace it because it's not going anywhere. So over the last couple of months, I've been trying to use AI to do different things to make the tasks that I have to do on a weekly or monthly basis a little bit easier. Now, one of the ways that I've been using ChatGPT to improve my productivity has to do with emails. I don't have ChatGPT writing the emails. I am still writing the emails. But what I do have ChatGPT do is I have them change the tone and check for grammatical errors. Very often when I would write an email, I would obsess and read it over and over and over again. So now what I do is I write the email, I'll read it over, make any modifications, and then I'll copy and paste it into ChatGPT. So for example, maybe I'll say change the tone of of this email to sound more professional and assertive. And you can very clearly see that ChatGPT writes a very nice, cohesive email to parents describing the student's strengths, looking at some weaknesses and areas for growth. So I really like ChatGPT because I don't have to spend as much time agonizing over the exact wording and things that I want to say. It's always important to, of course, read anything that ChatGPT writes and modify anything that you don't agree with. And so this is one way that I've saved myself a lot of time instead of agonizing over every little word that I'm writing in a parent email. Another way that I've been using AI to support my students and improve my productivity actually has to do with the fact that I have a flipped classroom. So I have a lot of video content that I created for my students and I don't always have all the time in the world to create questions for the video. So now what I do is I create my video, I upload it to YouTube, and then I use the transcript feature in YouTube in order to copy and paste that transcript into ChatGPT. Because there is a timestamp associated with the video, I then ask ChatGPT to create a series of questions to go along with the transcript that they see from the video. It even provides me with the timestamps of where to put the questions. Now this has really improved my productivity because I am not spending as much time watching the video and having to go through and wait and try to figure out what kind of question I want to ask. Instead, ChatGPT is doing it for me and it'll even provide the correct answers, which is awesome as well. As always, you're going to want to proofread this to make sure that it's appropriate, but I can say I've done this with quite a few videos at this point and I absolutely love this. Another thing that I absolutely love, which has made me so happy and it makes it so easy for me, is to design look at games. My students absolutely love Book It. I am a paid member. I am not being sponsored in any way with Book It, but I just, I love it. The kids love it. They just have such a good time. Most recently, my students are studying acid-base equilibria in my AP class. So I wanted to make a conjugate acid-base pairs Book It. To do this, I use ChatGPT. Now you could, of course, just type in, you know, make a 10 question multiple choice quiz on acid-base, you know, conjugate pairs, whatever. But instead, what I had them do is I actually had ChatGPT use the spreadsheet that Blookit provides and import all the questions and all the answers into the spreadsheet. All you need to do is upload the spreadsheet from Blookit and ChatGPT does the rest. It has been amazing and has saved me so much time because I don't need to spend time coming up with the questions. I don't need to spend time typing all of that into a spreadsheet. And then best of all, all you do is one click of a button. You can upload it right into Book It and you have everything there for your students. I still remember the day that I decided to create this Book It game and it occurred to me that I could use AI to create it. And it was amazing. I had 24 minutes to eat lunch. It was during my lunch period and I was able to eat lunch 
challenge and create a game in that time. And the kids just had an absolutely wonderful time playing it. The fourth way that I absolutely love using AI to support my students, but also to give me a little bit more time is by using AI to write very short, concise little paragraphs, introducing new information. Now I love using Polgle in my class, but sometimes you just don't got time for that. So instead I've been using ChatGPT to create small little snippets of content that the students can read over and I use that as an inquiry do now before we start class. So here's an example of one that I've created. Now one of the things that I love so much about this is that it's allowing students to be supported so there's some scaffolding there but it also encourages them to think beyond this. You could of course have ChatGPT ask some follow-up questions by prompting it very simply and easily but I've been primarily asking it to explain things so that it's an appropriate reading level for my high school chemistry students. There you have it. That is four different ways that I have been using AI to support my students learning but also improve my productivity. What are some ways that you're using AI in your classroom? Please leave a comment down below. As always, I welcome your feedback on this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful week with your students.